everybody to Converge Mail, and in this video we'll go over how to resolve git conflicts in VS Code or if your favorite ID is PyCharm, we'll go over that too. So let's get started. Now one of the things that will come to your mind is when does a merge conflict occur? The, the reason that they occur is if you or another developer is working on the same code and you make edits to the same lines and want to merge those changes back, Git has no clue of which code is the right code. So it leaves that to the user to select which one is right. And the user goes through that process and then finally merges that final piece of code. We'll go over that um, in VS Code first and then in PyCharm. You can see that right now I'm in this directory called Git Conflicts. Now, this directory is currently is not a Git directory, uh, but normally when you will clone um, a, a you know Git clone from GitHub or a Bitbucket, it will be a Git directory. The way I can make this Git directory um, is I'll just say Git init. You can see now it has got this indication here. That's a Git directory, and I'm in the main branch or the master branch. Next thing that I will do is I will create a file. Um, and this file for, um, you know, for maybe has um, four metrics. So these are machine learning metrics. And I'll say RMSE, MAE, um, maybe MAD, and, uh, and next we'll have um, R squared, right? So these are four metrics. I'm going to save that into a file called metrics.py and then I will add this file in git and then commit this file as well. So commit and um, you know, um, I'll just say that added four um, metrics for example and I made that commit. Now imagine I'm developer one and developer one works is working on a branch called branch one. So I will take the copy of the main branch and um, create that branch one. And right now I've switched that to branch one. Um, I'm developer one and I want to make an edit to the metrics file. So what I'll do is I will, you know, for sake of simplicity, I'll just go over to this function, uh, you know, this um, uh, command again. And here, let's say, you know, the file had RMSE, MAE, MAD, and R square, and I made a change to this third line, right? So I made this maybe AUC. So I made that change, and then I've saved that in, um, in branch one. And similarly, if you, if you want to take a look, then let's just take a look at that, and you can see I've got these four. The thing that I've done is I've taken the master branch, or the main branch, in this case, and changed um, MAD uh, to AUC, right? So I made that change. And now I'm going to git add um, metrics.py and I will, again, will make a commit. And in this commit, I might write um, um, renamed, um, or not renamed, but um, added or replaced in this case replaced um, uh, MAD with AUC. You know, that's the commit that I've made. That's good. Now imagine that um, there's, there's developer two and developer two is also working, you know, wants to make a, take a copy of the main branch and he makes um, a copy in another branch and he calls that branch, uh, branch two, right? So he calls that branch two and in this branch too, he accesses the same file, right? He accesses the same file, and instead of a, uh, instead of you know, initially we had this MAD, right? So this is what we had in, in from from in the main file, and just to make sure that, just to make you sort of um, confident, of what I'm just saying is, if I just go to metrics not pi, you will see I've got RMC, MA, MAD, and R square. These are the metrics that I had in my main file, main branch. And uh, what I'll do here is I will um, just do that, 
to where I had MAD, um, I will replace that with um, another metric. Maybe, you know, I want to say ROC. Um, that's another metric. And I've just saved that. And again, I'll make, um, I'll add that file. And I will make a commit to that file. And here I might say that replaced um, MAD with ROC, which is another machine learning metric, as I said. Now I just make that change. Um, and now I've got branch two has, um, it ha has you know, those four metrics and branch one also has four metrics, but we have edited the same lines and have different metrics. Now at this point, what if I if I go into um, branch one, which was developer one, and in the developer one wants to merge branch two, which was written by another developer, right? And so the way that you merge in in Git is you'll say Git merge um, branch two. That's I'm in branch one currently, as you can see, and I'm merging branch two. And as I do that, you see I get a conflict because we have edited the same lines of code in the same file. So there's a conflict here. At this point, um, you, you might uh, do not want to go ahead with the merge. Um, maybe you want to discuss with you know, the, the other developer. Um, so you want to cancel this. Now, the way that you can do that is you can easily come here and say git merge abort, right? And you're back here and, you know, it's 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 about it. Um, but let's say you were brave enough and you had all the information and uh, you wanted to go ahead and merge uh, branch two. As as I hit that, you see, of course, I am uh, you know welcomed by the same message, which is you know that there's a conflict. Now what I can do is if I go here in uh, metrics of pi in in VS Code, um, you'll see I get this sort of um, you know, I'm welcomed by this, um, by, by this um, in this file, uh, saying that I've got this current change, which is the change that's currently existing, and then there is an incoming change, which is branch two, which I wanted to merge. Um, and so you have the option that if you want to accept the current change, meaning you think that you are right, and you want to discard the other change that's coming from branch two, so you can do that, or you can accept the incoming change, or you can accept both changes. You can also compare um, changes if you want. So you can take a look at what is that change, right? So you can take a look um, at those changes. Now, if you go back here, um, I think that the incoming change is the change that I want to accept. So I can say accept incoming change. And you can see that it's now, you know, the change has been done. Now I can save this file. And I'm going to ignore this. So I'm going to save that file and go back to my terminal. And in this terminal, now you can see that I still have that sort of git merge um, sign here. Uh, what I can do is now I will add the changes that I've made. So um, I'll add that file where I've made the changes and saved and then make a commit again with now with the message that um, merged let's say branch two right uh, let me just yeah here's a typo yeah merge by two that's been done and now if I get um, take a look at log take a look at the log um, you will be you will see that I have merged right um, and so yeah, so we have now successfully merged that branch uh, into ours. That was the whole process. Now, we will repeat this process in Python. So let's head over to Python. And here, once again, um, I will do get in it, the same drill, okay? Um, what I would recommend is if you, if you go through this sort of example once or twice or thrice, just to make sure that you sort of understand. So do it yourself, right? That's is super important. Okay, once again, we are in that main, in that main branch. And um, then what I could do again here is that um, 
I will create um, a file. Um, as I said, echo, RMSC, um, going through the same examples, MAE and MAT, and then R squared. This exact example that we went on that, um, on VS Code. And I'll say, um, apply, that's, that's, we have, that's what we have done. Oh yes, I need a present sign here, right? So we now have we now have that file. I can take a look at that file. There you go. Um, made a small error. So let's fix that. Um, which is yes, I need yeah, I need an N here, right? So now go back here and take a look. We've got all these um, metrics. Great. Um, now what we will do is we will add this metrics file and also make a comment to it. And once again, what I'll do, the same drill is, you know, I will write here is um, added um, for metrics, right? Okay, again, I'm developer one, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take um, the code that currently exists in the main branch, and, um, and because I wanna make some edits to it, so I'll just call branch one, that's the branch developer one is um, going to do. Um, going, to, going to, you know, copy the, uh, the main uh, you know, the code from the main branch. And at this point, what I'll do is, again, I will go to this metrics file and maybe just say AUC, right? And again, same drill, I will just add um, and commit at this point. Maybe I, uh, what I need to say is, um, again, replaced um, MAD with AUC, right? That's That's been done. And again, the next thing, next, the scenario is that I'm developer two, and developer two now says, oh, I want to also play with this uh, code. And so I'm going to take... Um, uh, create, new, uh, create a branch, and uh, he will call that branch, branch two. And the next thing is, well, he goes and he says um, that he wants to make the metrics.py file, make a change and make this to ROC, right? Again, same drill where we will add the metrics and here um, we'll make a commit and we, but what he has done, he has changed from mad to ROC. That's the commit. Now, what I will, what I next um, will do is that I want to, I am aware of, of this change, um, and I want to take the changes that has been done by the second developer and merge it into my branch. And what I do then is I say git merge branch two. As I do that, I'm again hit by that conflict, right? Now, what I can do in Python is if I head over here, right, into this metrics, again, what you see, it's got head, AUC, but the interface is a bit different. Let me just zoom in. The interface is, is a bit different. Um, so what we'll do is you see this commit um, tab here. So I'll just click on it. And next to, uh, I've got, you've got merge conflicts and it says resolve. So I'll click this. I have, um, I got this dialog box open and I'm gonna hit merge, right? Because I want to, at this point, I won't click accept yours or theirs because I just wanna see the code compare and then uh, finally make the change. So I'll say merge. I'm then shown this sort of uh, window. On the right-hand side is branch two, which is the incoming changes, right? Branch one is my current change that my, my current branch. And then here is this, this initial file which was there in the main branch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disregard my change and I'm going to accept this change. That's the file, file that I want to accept. I'll say apply. And then yes, so that's been done. Now I can actually make a commit uh, here. Um, but what we'll do is I've made this change here. I'll head over to the terminal 
Um, and here I will say, so before I do that, let's just take a look at the metrics.py once again. You can see I've accepted ROC. And here what I'll do is I'll say git add metrics um, uh, metrics.py and I will write a commit message very similar to how we did last time and we will say here that um, merged um, branch um, branch two um, let's say we also say resolve conflicts right and that is it so we have actually successfully done um, our conflicts in PyCharm and in NVS code. So hopefully um, this was easy to understand process. Um, what you need to understand is the code that you're bringing in. The process is probably easy to uh, sort of, you know, easy to go through. But what I would also suggest is um, that you go through this example maybe twice or thrice and it will you know, become second nature and you will be resolving conflicts um, like a pro. All right. So you have a good day, have a good evening or have a good night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.